What's up, Viola Gang? I'm James, and you're watching the first video ever uploaded on my new channel, Viola King. <laughs> First off, welcome to this channel. You're coming from my old channel, The Self-Titled. Uh, thank you for being a loyal fan, and I'm so glad that you followed me here. If you're new here, this is your first time seeing me, uh, that's also excellent. One of my goals for my channel, which I'll be explaining more later in the video, is for my content to reach as many people as possible. So in this video, I'm going to be introducing myself, I'll explain my channel name and my goals for the channel, and finally I'll explain why I'm switching to this channel from my old channel. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I'm James, and I play viola. I can also play any other string instrument, uh, aside from the harp. Um, I can also play the rubber chicken, the theremin, can play the piano very poorly. All of these at uh, varying degrees of skill. For the purposes of my channel, I'll mostly be sticking to viola, because I'm best at that. I'm also into composing and arranging, which ends up being most of the content on my channel as well. I'm 19 years old, and I'm a freshman at the Juilliard School of Music, which is where I find most of the people for my collab videos. As you can imagine, those videos usually end up being pretty good. Uh, aside from music, I like running, poetry, uh, meerkats, minecrafts, the color pink, and my girlfriend. And you might be wondering, how do I have a girlfriend if I'm a violist? Well, the answer is, she's also a violist. Viola King. So I've been a fan of Two Set Violin for about four years, and three years ago, they uploaded a video called Viola Gang, where Eddie dressed up in a red robe and a Viking helmet and rapped about the Viola Gang, and thus the legend of the Viola King was born. During high school and at summer camps, people would sometimes call me Viola King, I think because I'm a very assertive musician, and also I would usually end up leading rehearsals because I was so passionate about the music. On top of that, I would always go around and tell people about what an amazing instrument the viola was, because I felt that it just doesn't get enough credit. I still feel that way sometimes. Uh, but anyways, for all those reasons, I think I was called Viola King, and for those reasons, I still feel the title fits. In no way do I want to suggest that I am the best violist in the world or something. I'm still a student, and I have a long way to go. If you want to see the best violist in the world, I recommend searching for Lawrence Power on YouTube. I promise you'll not be disappointed. So you're going to see a few different types of content on this channel. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I love composing and arranging, so this is where I'm going to be publishing those videos. I'll also be publishing videos of myself performing other pieces, maybe even in live performances someday. Uh, in many of those videos, I might be involving some of my friends for collabs. I'll also be making longer videos where I talk about something that has to do with viola, usually with a bit of playing mixed in. Those videos have seemed to be the most successful on my previous channel, so I'm going to try and make more of those. My ultimate goal is actually more like three goals that all go hand in hand. Goal one is to show people that the viola is actually a worthwhile instrument. It's not just the big clunky cousin of the violin that everybody makes jokes about and usually overlooks. Goal two is to spread classical music to more people. Uh, I think the world would be a better place if more people listen to classical music. Right now I feel like people just assume it's all the same boring Mozart or something and they don't give it a chance. Goal 3 is simply to inspire and entertain people. As a performer, this is basically my life goal as well, but ever since the pandemic began, YouTube has been 90% of my performance opportunities. In November I was featured in two sets playing with fans video, and I suddenly gained a lot of subscribers. Not like a ton, but enough to make me feel like I finally had an audience that would listen to me consistently. I've been really motivated to practice and compose a lot ever since then. I figure if I get 100 views on a video and 20 or 30 likes, it's just like I'm performing for 100 people and 20 or 30 of them said that they liked it. Even if, uh, on average, they all get up and leave after two minutes, it's still just as good as any live performance I've ever given as far as audience count. Basically, YouTube is my number one creative outlet but it's only that way because of you, so thank you. These goals are also why I will always tell you at the end of the video to hit the thumbs up button down below the video if you enjoyed it. 
it helps the YouTube algorithm so that as many people as possible see my content. I really do value all of the likes and comments I get on my videos, so I know I'm sometimes lazy about responding to comments, but I'll get to them eventually, so keep them coming. So to explain why I'm switching channels, I'm going to start four and a half years ago. I was going into my freshman year of high school and I made my first YouTube channel with my personal Gmail account and the topic was songs that were supposed to be very bad. They are supposed to be satirical, funny, low quality. I record a track on my electric piano and record myself singing over it while filming printed out lyrics on a sheet of paper. And that was my first YouTube channel. He was practicing. Fast forward two years, I was a sophomore in high school, I made another channel using my school email because I wasn't aware that you could just have two channels on one Gmail account. Anyway, so this channel was called Violist in a Hoodie, I would make also somewhat cringy videos of me trying to play pop song covers while wearing a hoodie and sunglasses. I ended up giving up on that channel after a few weeks. That summer I had my sophomore viola recital, which went pretty well. So I published all of the videos for my recital on that channel, except I changed the name to just James Prusel, which ended up being the channel that I published videos on for the next few years, gradually gaining subscribers until the end of high school when I had about 80 subscribers. Uh, after high school, I tried changing it to a different channel, but I found that my school had changed restrictions on it so that I couldn't actually shift it to a different email I also couldn't change my name or my profile picture for the channel. At that point, I didn't really care because I was only getting like 20 views per video. Uh, but when I came to Juilliard for the first time, and I was stuck in quarantine for two weeks, I was bored, so I decided to make some videos for fun. That was my thought process when I recorded the infamous, the sacrilegious violist, which ended up bringing in a whole new batch of excited subscribers to my channel. Now, I, I wanted to switch to a different channel at that point, but I felt like I just had a bunch of new subscribers, I hadn't gained their trust yet, and I didn't think that many of them would follow me if I just suddenly switched to a different channel. I knew I was going to have to switch to a different channel at some point. Beyond not having a personalized uh, name and logo, I wasn't sure when my school was going to delete my school email, thus also deleting my school YouTube channel. That would be terrible. All my videos gone, all my subscribers wondering where I went, also, in the future, if I get a ton of subscribers and really successful, um, I'm going to want some monetization, especially as a likely poor musician. Overall, it's just going to be much better for me to have full control of my own YouTube channel. Now, after I've gained some experience making videos and I have a clear idea of where this channel is headed, I feel that now is the perfect time for a new beginning. I have a lot of great Viola contents lined up for the next few months, so if you want to catch it all, make sure you're subscribed. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Until next time, Viola Gang, Viola King out.